you need me to run through what we're doing? I'd like to, yeah. Let me turn this off then. So, what we are doing here is we've re-panelled the car. As you can tell, the panels are on. You can see on the other side, which I haven't started rubbing down yet, it's all still in its guide coat, but we've lined all the doors, well, all the panels are all lined back up, ready to start blocking down, which I'm doing now. I'm using 120, so it's still quite coarse, because we're still cutting the shape into it, and you find a little bit, so this section here I wasn't very happy with, just a little bit high for there, so we cut back through that, and I'll end up polyester in that back wing again. And if I find any other bits, we'll re-polyester those as well. But whilst I'm doing it, I'm not just knocking the guide coat off, um, because you can hit the guide coat off and it can still be ripply, like the guide coat will help you see the scratches and the really low spots, but you really need to keep feeling it with your hand all the way over so you get it nice and straight. I've also taken it right back, you can see on the door here, just till it starts to go through to what's underneath. So we've got the least amount of material on there as possible. Um, the more material you put on, it, you know, you can have problems of it trying to crack uh, down the line, which you don't really want. These ones here uh, is a little bit tricky in comparison to when we do the Astons and the E-types and things, because the E-types and the Astons, the arches are like that. So you can block straight off, go straight off the edge, nice and easy to rub down. Whereas these, they've decided to put a nice slick arch on, and when you're blocking it down, you can't, you can't go all the way to the end because you'll end up with a channel around here. This has got a slight low spot, which we'll address later. As it goes in, you might see when you look at some other cars, they've got a bit of a, they come in and dip a little bit before they come out on the arch. Also, something else that we get asked a lot is why we keep putting the panels on and off and on and off and on and off. Well, if you go to some shows and look at some classic cars, you'll spot it straight away. They'll have a nice shiny coat of paint, but you look down them and the doors, the panels, if this is the panel gap, they'll tip in at the edges. And they'll go like that and look a bit shit, look like they're made of jelly. Because um, when you're blocking it down, if you're blocking it down, so we've done all the filler work, so people are like, oh, you don't need them, just scuff the primer off. But if you're rubbing the primer down with the panel off, as you get to the edge, you'll tip over, because there's nothing here to hold the block, and that's where you get that rounded edge. On there, so if I put this back in, and put that on, what you want is the wing and the panel to run straight into each other, so it doesn't look shit. What else do we need to know? The next bit I'll do on this side is degrease that and I'll run a masking tape line down through here on the bottom edge and then block the top to the line and that will give us a nice straight line. If you just try and block it without it, it didn't stand back, the line will go up and down and in and out. And again, look wank. On the arches, so we try and do everything with a flat block because you want it to look straight. But when we get to a bit like this, we've got loads of different bits, foam, tube, anything so you can go around and it will go around and put the shape that you want in the arch. If you look at some cars on this reverse curve, you'll be able to see if it's got too much filler in or not been rubbed down properly because the light will hit it and it will be like a wavy mess all around in there. Again, look a bit shit. Ricky Bobby's here to do some filming. I just heard someone say wavy mess. Wavy mess. And look a bit shit. Ah. ah, yes, so this is still the polyester. It will be going into its final prime. I would normally final prime them before we do the paint on the inside, but because it's an alpha and it's made of tin foil, I knew the body rollers were going to damage the front and rear balance, so I didn't want it to be in its final prime and then have to reprime those bits again. So that's why I've done that. So you can see there, let me just tap that on so it doesn't move. Basically what you can see here is where I've blocked this side up to the line with no tape on, you can see it's 
quite accurate, most of it, but just here, so I've blocked that up, so the line's actually gone slightly higher than it should be. So now when I block that down, I'll be able to bring that line back down to the tape. And that's basically what the tape is for. So once you've done both sides, that'll be a nice straight line. And those are a bit tricky to eye the tape up because you're already on, trying to go on that line, so there's two right next to each other. But That'll be alright. And then we'll do the same on that one. Once we do that. So you can already see there, and I mean that looks to the eye quite flat, and when you put the straight edge on it, looks quite flat. But when you block it down with the guide coat on, it shows you these differences and the scratches. So these lines that you see in the guide coat, that would be from the 40 and the 80 grit that we use on the filler. And then also you've got all of these little bits which are showing up the pinholes. Some of them we've dabbed in with the polyester when we went in to block those out. Um, so that's basically what the guide coat is showing you or helping, but you still need to, once you've done that, rub your hand over it and actually feel, you'll feel the difference in your hand of it being wavy, but you might not be able to see it. But, but yeah, I'm gonna kind of teach you how to do it, and I've got to try it. The pinholes, they come from the filler. Yes, yeah, so that's the little pinholes in the filler. Um, you can go around and stop at every single pinhole if you want to, and they do anti-pinhole fillers and things, but when you're putting loads of polyester and loads of primer and blocking it down, you're just wasting your time really. Let the polyester do what it's supposed to do. And um, then all, that'll be, I'll block so much of that polyester off, they will be completely gone. Yeah. And I'll block it down to that line, to that masking line, so you'll be able to see when it hits the masking line. Yeah, look, we're just coming through to wherever the height we want it to be there. And we've also hit a nice height on the polyester on the door. So that's going to be quite nice. Do you know My do that? job. I'm supposed to do the rubbing down. So I brought that right down. So we've just caught the top edge of the tape. And that go all the way through. And then we'll have a nice line. And then once I've done that and I do the 240, I'll be able to take it the other side and just finesse it a little bit more and then again in the in the primer next primer stage so another few days of rubbing down and um, we'll be ready to go into the primer have a nice day I can't run down again. And stop. i've got the alpha back in the booth now just for a couple little bits basically i've decided to just re-polyester down both sides, which is a couple little bits I wasn't 100% happy with. So instead of just doing some patches, I'm gonna just do down both sides and then I can sharpen the lines up a little bit more. Also on the boot lid, it's now we've had a decision made to debadge it, so we had to weld up the badge holes. So yeah, I'm just gonna put probably two coats, nothing major, not loads of like shaping up, but just to cover up where we've gone through, broken through, the nicer we get it in this stage. It's nicer when you get into the uh, final primer. Um, so I'll do that now. Aidy's just started blocking down the side where we re-polyestered it. Hello. Sharpening up the lines, and obviously where you saw where we've gone through before, done across the front panel. And I've just been going down this side. So we'll get that blocked down, and then we'll uh, get it in the booth and get it masked up for primer, unless we find anything else we don't like, Ooh. which can always happen. Always looking for something wrong, aren't we, Abe? Right. right then, the Alpha is now rubbed down again, and we're ready to go into the final primer. Uh, but I'm having the day off today, so Aidy and Stan are going to be running you through it. I've got the GoPro set up, so I'll do a time lapse, but you can see where we blocked the side back down, where we re-polyestered it. And, um, 
Yeah, so this, I think this might be Stan's first time spraying with aid. So we'll see, uh, see how pissy aid gets with him. So we'll end up putting between four and five coats of vinyl primer. We're using a Mipa four to one this time. We've had some good results with it. So uh, yeah, I'll let them crack on and, and set a little time lapse going. We've got the alpha out the booth now. It's got the guide coat over the primer. So Aidy and I are gonna start blocking this down. And this should be the final primer. If we find any issues along the way, also we can do a, uh, an extra bit of primer on that area, but this should be it. We should be able to flat this down from, we'll start at about 240, 320 and work our way through to probably P1200, do that wet so it's all smooth and it gets rid of all the scratches. It's basically what you're doing, leveling that up, straighten it up, and get rid of all the production marks that you've left with any uh, of the course of paper. So we'll start blocking this down, and then first we'll spray the insides of the panels, so we can then mass them out, and then spray the whole outside of the car at the same time. So we're gonna start doing that now. We'll, we'll show you it once it's, once it's all blocked down. Aid's on pretty much the last bit of the wet flatting now with a 600. He's just on the roof, been down the sides. As you can see, we de-panelled it. Stan is in here now, just prepping the panels up. So we'll get them sprayed into red, but then also we're just gonna do the little extra bits, the battery tray, the little bit for the rear light mount and the front grills. So I'm just gonna mix up a little epoxy primer for those. Just spray them on with a little gun and then the red on the rest of it. All right, I've got the bits in epoxy primer now, so I'm going to spray the red on now. I'm using the Iwata, the Supernova. I've had this gun for about 10 years now, and it's, it's meant for direct glass lacquers and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, we do two or three coats on these. I'll uh, give them all a tack off, and then once they're dried and baked off, we can mass them up, final prep the outside, and then do the rest of the shell and everything with the outside all in one go. That's all the panels now into red, and we've baked those off. And Aid and Stan have finished with the 600 on the Alpha, and Aid's now just flicking over it with some 1200 wet. And also, where you've seen in the videos, we've had the lines masked to keep them straight. We keep them real sharp, because it's easier to see if the line is straight down the car, if it's quite sharp. But if it is too sharp when you paint it, you can end up with the paint pulling away from the edge. So we're just taking the sort of sharp edge off um, just to avoid that from happening. But you can still see they're pretty nice lines. So it's going to be good. So we'll just finish off that 1200, clean the whole shell down, get it ready to mask up, and then demask the backs of the panels and mask the paint inside and get it all in the booth ready to go. Won't we, Stan? We've got all the wet flat and done. We've cleaned the shell. As you can see, we've masked up all around the edges. Panels are masked. I'll rearrange those in a minute once we've got, once we've finished masking up the car. Because obviously it's a bit tricky to get around those. 
So what we're going to do now is Ailey and Stan and myself, they're, they're out there somewhere. Hello. We're going to start papering this and blading it all down. So it's mass, we'll go right underneath as well. Underneath the bottom. And that's, that's going to be ready. I'm going to put that on a time lapse so you can see that happen. Got a little spray out card on the front. Uh, that'll be just for the records we'll put in the book all the cars we do so we've got a record of what we've done uh, yeah let's do that Masked up now, as you can see, I've just given the car one final degrease. We were going to leave it till Monday, and I was going to spray it with me and Aid on Monday, both of us. But I woke up this morning, and well, I just had a, just had a little bit of a hard on, didn't I? And I thought, well, let's let it rip potato chip. So I've come in and got it all ready. I've got the paint mixed, so I'm going to slap some colour on it now. There's a couple tiny little bits, I'll just puff a little bit of primer over that are just showing through. Um, but apart from that, we're ready to go. I'm pretty happy with it. You can sort of see how straight it's going to be. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting some colour on it, getting the panels back on. So I'll put the time lapse on and I'll do that, I'll do that now. I'm spraying it with the eye water again same as I've done the inside of the panels. Uh, just a two to one with the direct glass with the, with the Rosso Red. So let's crack on with it.
All right, the Alpha's now painted. Aidy and San are in. Uh, a little bit shocked this morning because obviously we were going to wait till today to do it. But I cracked on anyway and done it. And uh, they're just having a little look. What are we going to do now? We've got nothing to do this week anymore. I mean, it's supposed to be yellow. It's pretty red. Red. And straight. You do this all by yourself, Charles? All by myself. Well done. Pats on the back, Charles. Panels down the end. Yeah. She's loving Lost, isn't she? He's nice. So the next stage to do with this is we'll give it a week just to um, cure off a bit more. It's had a bake, but we'll leave it a bit longer. And then we'll start wet flattening it. It's quite a nice finish, so we'll be able to go with 1500, I think, straight on with that. And then through to 3000. But you also notice what we're going to do is all of these lines and edges we will end up getting some blue fine line mask and tape on whilst we wet flat and that will just stop us from um, taking too much paint off of the edges uh, when it's like this and this sharp. It can be quite easy to flat through the edge and also rasp it off with the mop. And that's, that's not good. We don't want that. Um, yeah, so that's that. Not really a lot more to say about it. We're in the last few stages of the Alpha project, restoration respray now. As you can see, it's like the wet flatten stage or color sanding or whatever you want to call it. Aid's up there doing the roof at the minute. But here are the bits that I mentioned earlier. So this is the fine line, three mil fine line that we just put over the edges of the car, any sharp edges that we've, that we've made to try and prevent rubbing through, which happens, you know, if you're trying to flat the whole car down, it is possible to go through the edge it's not it's not that difficult so that stops that and then it, near the end of the wet flat and which we'll show you we'll just take the tape off and just finish that last sort of three mil section by hand uh, and just give that a light wet flat so this is 1500 at the moment and we'll go all the way through to 3000 but you can see hopefully i'll pick it up on the camera it's quite hard to see but any orange peel or anything we'll be able to get rid of and it will go down to a flat surface and then we'll machine polish it up yeah so that's what we're doing we're nearing the end of wet flat in the shell as you can see we've taken the fine line tape the three mil tape off and we've just rubbed just that last tiny little bit down carefully by hand and aid has just been going over it there he is with the uh 3000 grit on the on the da you can sort of see it almost starts to bring it up to a shine with that so it just makes it a little bit easier when we polish it uh, there's a there's a there's a there's a 3000 i mean you can't see how fine that is but well, it's about 3,000. Um, yeah, so you can see here, this is still the 2,000 on the wing. You'll see the difference between that and, and that. So the next stage then will be to mop it up. So we'll do that this afternoon and uh, see how good it's going to look. Then we just got the panels to do. Easy. Anything else you want to add to that, Ed? Uh, have a nice day. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Have a lovely day. Age just finished mopping the shell, so he's gone over it twice with uh, the 3M green compound, which is over here. There's Aid. Here's the 3M. Fast cut. So we've gone over it twice with that, and then he's just finished going over it with the yellow top. And now we're going to demask it. So we leave it all demasked up whilst we wet flat and polish it to keep all the um scar from going inside. Uh, this is a nice bit of peeling all the masking off. Seeing the inside again. And then once we've got the panels done and back on, it will get another green top mop over the whole thing. And then it'll be pretty much ready to go to Chris's. So when he's finished putting the car all together, we'll end up giving it another mop before it goes back. 
but it's looking pretty good. You can see a little bit now, I'll get a strip light on it so you can see. Earlier when I mentioned about when we were in the shaping stages and we were doing the arch to try and get that reverse curve in there. As you can see that it's like a nice even reflection. If you look at some sort of classic cars, they're all a bit wavy as they go through that bit. Uh, that's another nice, a nice thing. And uh, yeah, it's all good. It's all good, eh, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, just fit in the last panel. Now, then the boot and the other door and the bonnet's on. Just that final lineup. Obviously, we've had the panels on and off and on and off. I can't remember how many times. A lot. A lot. It's always a little bit stressful on the last time. These aren't a very good design on these Alphas either. But uh, some cars are nice and some cars aren't. And this is not very nice. They're not giving you very good access. To the bolts. Right. Have a little look. Mm -hmm. The worst bit that happens is if you've got it slightly wrong, sometimes they're tight on the front and they can hit the front wing. So that's, that's sort of what we don't want to happen. You see it's like that top edge. Mm -hmm. A bit more? Keep going a little bit. A little bit more, so we're just bringing the top edge of the door out. And it's, if you rub the back of your hand, fingers across, you can sort of feel feel the height difference. We're slightly too far in the door, so we'll bring that out a little bit more. Get the rest of the catches on, and then uh, the next thing we'll get it outside and have a walk around and a look. Do you think? Yeah. All right then. Just fitting the last few bits now, the last latches and catches and everything. So just make sure that they uh, shut how we want them to. So you can do your sort of fingers across. So we've checked with that. We've adjusted that all on the hinges now. So that is all good. I've also um, wrapped a cover at the insides of the doors. Black those out as well now to make them look a little bit better. I'll show you on this one. Just make them look a bit. A little bit tidier, a bit of protection, and it also help keep the um, noise down. It's obviously quite thick, it'll give a bit of denseness to it. So, put the scuttle in now, that was the last piece that went in, the scuttle panel. So we'll get it outside and have a little walk around. See? See? Yeah. Yeah, I think. And that's pretty much our side of it done. Yeah. Let's get outside. Two straight. The Alpha outside. What do you think, Stan? She's lovely. First time you see it in the uh, in the sun. So that is pretty much us finished on the Alpha now. Everything that we needed to do. So we put from start to finish. We put about 450 hours into this, uh, just to give you an idea of like how long the process takes. We're going to give it one last flick over with the mop. Before we deliver it to Chris at CCS Restorations uh, and he's going to put it all back together with the twin spark engine and all the other little bits and pieces so we may get a video of that when it's finished if not there'll be some pictures that we'll put up on our Facebook page so um, you'll be able to see that other than that I hope you've enjoyed the video if you've got any questions or comments or you want to know anything just put, put, put the comments below and if you've liked this sort of video, the restoration videos, we've got a few more uh, in the pipeline that we'll be doing. So like and subscribe and uh, have a nice day. Oh yeah, f off hearing that f***ing TV voice. Have a nice day. F*** off.